All right, let's go to the NFL, Rob. And Colin Kaepernick, he, he, look, he keeps getting in the news, as he should. As he should, because, again, if the NFL sincere about all this apologizing and we're sorry we squelched the protest and so on and so forth, then a 32-year-old Colin Kaepernick, who once, not that long ago, led a team to a Super Bowl, who struggled with three different head coaches and that had a part to play in his struggles, can't get in the NFL, but a Nathan Peterman, who's got, Rob G., what is it, like 13 interceptions to five complete, something crazy. And other folk of that ilk can get in then something is wrong. Something is very wrong, folks. But a lot of people now are beginning to think that Kaepernick will indeed get into the NFL. Here, just just to make sure I'm right. Okay, Nathan Peterman, Rob, he has 12 interceptions and three touchdowns in his career. How is he even in the (laughs) NFL? I'm serious. Like, there's nobody else in this entire country could throw a football, Chris. (laughs) Seriously. What what is it about Pete? Oh, they, oh we got to have him on our squad. That's god awful. I don't know of anybody who has ever started their career with 12 interceptions to three. If you remember when they made the change in Buffalo, he threw five interceptions at halftime. <laughs> I just never heard of that. Who's ever heard of that? I uh, unbelievable. All right, so but now like I said, there seems to be at least if you believe the reports There appears to be some momentum going for Kaepernick to be in the league. NFL Network reporter Michael Silver said this last night. There is some legitimate interest from at least a couple of teams in Colin Kaepernick. Ownership has to sign on, but I've talked to one head coach who is absolutely interested. That's according to Silver. And then Jim Trotter, also from the NFL Network, he said that he has talked to or he's reporting that at least one NFL general manager, quote, feels strongly that Kaepernick will be signed this upcoming season. So what do you think, Rob? You think it's going to happen? I, I honestly do. I, I really do, Chris. Um, he's not too old. This is not a stretch of getting no, Colin Kaepernick an opportunity in the NFL. It just isn't. And I think that given what's, what's happened, what, what people have seen going on, and to make this wrong, Chris, right? Yes. I think that that's the part that the NFL, they've, they've acknowledged that they made a mistake. They've given money. They've done everything, right, like so far. But the one thing that they did was they wronged a man who was trying to warn us four years ago about what was going on in the streets and these innocent, nameless, faceless people, Chris, who were being killed unarmed by white police. This this is what he was talking about. Yep. yep. And you could talk about all the other stuff. Oh, you know, well, he's an activist now, and he doesn't care. He he's gets paid by Nike to sell stuff and all this other stuff. He's a football player. That's right. what he put all of his heart and energy in, Chris. That's the job that uh, he was doing when all this went down. He never said he never wanted to play football. He always wanted to play football. He's young enough. He might be 32 years old, but in football years, maybe he's 28 because right. he hasn't gotten the beaten for the last four years of his body uh, and, and the toll that it takes. So he's not as old even as his age would indicate. Um, and, and we're you know Tom Brady's about to start the season as a 43-year-old quarterback uh, this fall. And you're telling me a 32-year-old guy can't? And you know what? We'll see what happens. Get on a team, Chris, have an opportunity as a backup quarterback. You don't know. Somebody gets hurt. They put somebody in. And before you know it, you, you, you have an opportunity. So, so you don't know. What did we see happen with Teddy Bridgewater? Got right. hurt, Chris. Right. Didn't right. play. Came back. We went didn't to play New Orleans. for a couple years. Right. Drew Brees got hurt. Yeah. Was 5-0, and oh, I think his record was, right? Didn't he win all five games that they played or something like that? Close Bridgewater, 5-0, and oh, yep. 5-0. and oh. And now he, and then he got a contract this year, and he's a starting quarterback, right, in, in Carolina. So this is what I'm talking about, that it is doable. It's not inconceivable. And if you remember, Teddy Bridgewater had a terrible injury 
with the Vikings, Chris. You remember his teammates it was were horrific. distraught. Yep, at, horrific. It was so bad. Well, let me ask you this, because George and I, I brought this up with him. Now, I I want Kaepernick to get back in the league for, I think it's a it's just. I think, you know, he deserves to be back in the league because he unfairly had his career taken from him because he stood up for American citizens, which never should have happened. I want him back in the league because I believe he wants to play football. He's never given any indication that he doesn't. And he's good enough to still at least be in the league, even if it's just as a backup. I will say this, though. And again, this isn't the most important thing. The most important thing is what he wants. But I'm just saying, from a legacy perspective, I think it would be better for him legacy-wise, if he never gets back in the league versus if he gets in the league and is a career backup or even gets to play and just is not good at all. I think what's best for his, the best thing for his legacy would be he gets back in the league, you know, maybe a year from now or whatever, gets his starting position back and, and lights it up, you know, and becomes a star again. That would be outstanding. I think a lot of people would love to see that type of story, and that would be fantastic for his legacy. Outside of that, though, I think it'd be better for his legacy if he never got in than if he got in, never played again because he was just a backup or, you know, got the starting job or got to play and wasn't very good. What do you think about that? I I think he's going to be good either way. I really do. Yeah, and even if either he, way, even it's, if not, it's not going to be negative no matter what. No, I agree it's not. It's, it's not. And even if it doesn't work out, Chris, or whatever, then most people will look at it and say, the league stripped him of four years of playing, and, and he could never regain what he had. So there could be a real reason why things didn't work out if they don't. But what if he does get an opportunity and, and, and is able to, and he's to great? get back? Oh, yeah, and play. Awesome. I mean, it's the most awesome story. You want to talk about uh, a, a made – made for Hollywood kind of script that that would be the ultimate can you imagine that story how many people well, in Hollywood would be trying to make that movie I you mean, know it what it would be, be Rob it would be and people people get mad when you throw this name out it would be like Muhammad Ali it would be if he I, came back and was like if he could regain the form he had years you know when he led San Francisco to the Super Bowl maybe even better and again that's a long shot we get it but if he did, now maybe he's not quite Ali, but it's that type of story. It is that type of story. Because, you know, Ali gave up his career to be true to his religion. Kaepernick gave up his career to be true to his people, his convictions. They both were trying to get back in. And they both sat out for three years. Now, Ali came back and regained the championship. You know, and and Cap was never as good as Ali. You know, even at his height. But if he could get back to what he was, it would be a tremendous story. And and Rob, I got to be honest. Look, I I he has to come back as a backup. There's no doubt about it. That's what he should be for initially, without question. But I'm not. I don't. I don't think it's a done deal that he can't be a starter and a and an above average starter again in this league. And look where the league has gone. Look at the quarterbacks yes. who are there, yes. Chris, and what style of play that they're doing. I don't know if some teams look at it and go, Lamar Jackson, uh, let's see, Colin Kaepernick kind of, that's what he was right. doing. I mean, he was doing the same exact thing when when Ron Jaworski went crazy about him. Do you know what I mean? So, yep. Yep. so uh, unless he's totally lost his wheels or can't move, why can't he get back into to doing that style which NFL coaches now seem way more receptive, Chris, than they did way back when Jim Harbaugh gave him a chance to do it. No, I, I agree with you. And I think a legitimate question, I can't remember the player we had on who was a, a former Kaepernick teammate. But, you know, we talked to was him that about... Cromartie? Yeah, yeah, Marcus Cromartie, right? Yeah. We talked to him about why Cap kind of fell off, you know, because, again, he, you know, like you said, Ron Jaworski, who is a legitimate... Dude, he Judge played in the talent. NFL, yes. right? And, and was a you know that. Super Bowl, got to the Super Bowl, all that. Yep. Analyst Legitimate for a long was a time. really good analyst. I know yes. people might mess with him because he, you know, he praised Cap and 
RG3 and all that. But Ron Jaworski knows his stuff. And so what happened, and, and I thought Cromartie gave us a great answer, that a lot of people don't take into consideration. Kaepernick had three different coaches his last three years. He had Harbaugh, of course, who he had success under. Then he had Jim Tom Sula, who was a who defensive was a guy. He was right. a disaster. A, a terrible team, remember. five and right. eleven. And then Chip Kelly, right. who's been a, it was a dis, even worse disaster. They went two and fourteen. So that is something that at least should enter the equation. I think Rob that if Cap comes back, let's say hypothetically he were were to go to Seattle, he sits under Russell Wilson. He's throwing the ball in practice. He regains his form eventually. He's a good soldier for a year, no no issues. Next year, maybe he could get a, a job with a team, you know, and have a shot to play. I, at 32, 33 years old, like you said, hasn't taken hits for a while. Right. Probably is mentally tougher than he ever was as a younger guy more mature than he ever was as a younger guy because, you know, that's how we do. We mature as we get older. I, I'm not – I don't think it's, you know, out of the question to think that he could actually be pretty good again. I, I agree. And until you get out there and knock off the cobwebs, I know it's easy for people to just always say, oh, you can't do it or it's been too long or whatever. I, I just – I don't believe that. If, if physically, Chris, you're okay, if it's not a health issue – that's that I would I would buy into that. You know, if he was seriously yep. hurt and hadn't played for four years or something, maybe I would buy into that. But he was not hurt. He Michael just Vick playing. was in jail for a few years. Right. All right. And he came back. And Vic, look, Vic was was certainly more exciting, more ballyhooed than than Kaepernick, but he never led a team to the Super Bowl. Like Cap did. Right. Cap and he Nick came right back. There. Cap had a chance to win that Super yep. Bowl. Right. Exactly. If it wasn't for the, the blackout or whatever that was, yep. they might have won it. But Vic came back and had his best season. Was better than ever that one year in Philly. And so, you know, I, I think it's possible. Again, I'm not predicting it. I get it. He's going to be rusty. He's going to need to be a backup initially. But let's see what these callers think, Rob. 877-99 on Fox. 877-996-6369. Here's what we want to know from you. Is it realistic to expect Colin Kaepernick to be back in the NFL this year? And if so, do you think he could once again be a high-level player? All right, let's go with uh, – let's start with Tyler in Minneapolis. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, hey, Tyler? Hey, how are you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Yep. Yes, sir. I just had a couple things to say, and I'm a Caucasian guy who's from uh, just south of Minneapolis area here. You know, it's like uh, Vikings are heavily involved in the community and stuff, and they're always really good about giving back. And, you know, they've got Kendricks and Barr coming out and supporting the cause and everything the way they are. And I just, with, with a guy like a backup we have as Sean Mannion, a cousin who is always shaky as himself, I just don't understand. Like, oh, we lose him. Did we lose him? Losing him. Sound like it was a good call. Obviously, yeah. he's calling for uh, maybe the Vikings could use him. Could use hey. him like that. Maybe they need it. And considering the George Floyd murder happened there, and right? What has Minneapolis, you know, it would be a way of healing the community, Chris. No and doubt. They have a need. It ain't like they're just doing it just to do it. They have right. a need. Right. To it Tyler. would be a win all over the place because no I, I'm sure the 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 fan base it would embrace him. I, I, no I agree with that, considering no. what's happened. Yep. Mark in Sacramento, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Mark? What's going on, gentlemen? Welcome back, Ross. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know what? I, I, he's going to get a chance. You guys mentioned the Peterman and some of these quarterbacks. He's going <laughs> to get a chance. And I was thinking about all the quarterbacks that got hurt last year, from Drew Brees to, to Roethlisberger. To, he's going to get a chance, I think. Right. I, I don't I don't think he can go um, full seasons anymore. But if he's in shape and goes to the right coach, right team, I think that dude can still win some big games. And I'd like to see him go to Baltimore. There's structure there. There's a, a type of offense uh, um, that he could probably run. And as far as I'm concerned, Jackson is 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 uh, is is a lot like him, you know, in in the way he plays. So I think no, they're, Baltimore they're, would be a good place. Clear similarities. Is is RG three still in Baltimore? 
He is. Oh, yeah. 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 He is. <laughs> And look, that that's would be one caveat to what I said. Look, I, I'm kind of surprised, Rob, that RG3 has never been able to become a starter again. Obviously, yeah, never, wouldn't start never Baltimore, get back on the field, yeah, really. You know? I mean, it, when you consider his rookie year, Chris. Yeah, and he and, had opportunities. Yeah, and just, you know, so maybe, I, you know, I would have thought, I would have bet, especially with the way styles have changed, the style of play has changed, that he would have been able to regain a starting position somewhere. But he hasn't. So, you know, maybe that would be a, a precursor to Cap. But we'll see. Yeah, it, it is. That's a great point on the on the, on RG3 is that he never got back there. Yeah, How about, it's surprising. It is surprising. Because he got hurt after his first year, right? So he yep. should have been bounced back and two or three years later had another shot somewhere. Yep. Jeremy in, uh, in Minnesota, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. How What's happening? Oh, I think there's definitely a room for Kaepernick in the league. Um, talking about his last year with um, Chip Kelly as his coach and the record they had, but if you look at Kaepernick's completion percentage and touchdown to an interception ratio, it was outstanding. And he would definitely be maybe have to sit this year, but I don't see any reason why he could definitely not be a starter again in this league. Yeah, he's still young enough. I mean, and definitely again. Definitely young enough. Yep. Definitely. Yep. How about Bill in California? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Bill? Hey, fellas. Thanks for taking my call. You know, um, it's all going to come down to whether or not it's going to work. What was that? We're losing oh. you. Yeah, I Another think we, bad we sell. lost We lost you, Bill. Man. How about Maurice in Texas? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Maurice? Hey, Rob and Chris. Uh, want to let you guys know I'm a big fan. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Guys uh, you're welcome. I, I think you guys hit the nail on the head today. Um, I normally see uh, his last few years being misrepresented in the media. Um, you know, the fact that he had bad coaches, he was injured, um, that's what contributed to the seasons not going as good as they could have. And the fact that uh, uh, the, his last season, he actually had one of his better st- statistical years. Right. And, um, I think he would be good if he do come back, but it's two reasons why I feel like he shouldn't. Um, one is – Shouldn't come back? Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah, the the NFL have, pro- have proven that um, it's not a meritocracy. They don't go off who's the best player. And it's a chance that he could get, get stuck in a backup role and not actually be able to live all his potential. And also with the coronavirus, you never know how that's going to turn out, and that could derail everything in his comeback as well. Uh, so unless it's no, that's interesting. Yeah. I do good. That is an interesting take, Chris. Yep. I, I, no, I didn't think of it that, that way. Yeah, I mean, if, like, thanks. Maurice. This might not be the year to come back. You know what yeah. I mean? But then, but me if just, he doesn't get back this year, I don't know if he he would get back, and that'd be four years away.